adopted a dog sight unseen in another state and I am here picking her up. My last dog I had for 15 years and he passed last year and so I'm just like having a lot of emotions. I'm like shaking. Okay, I'm at the foster house. Hi. As soon as I got in the car with Stevie, they put her in my arms. And she licked my face, and I knew this was the right decision. And I just immediately felt my heart open up to her, and it was so powerful. Deciding to get another dog after my heart dog, Sterling, passed away it was not an easy decision. I got Sterling when I was really having a very hard time. I always had a bit of wanderlust, and he was the reason that I had the courage to just take off, just me and him, on so many adventures. When Sterling passed away, I went back into a very dark place. I stopped traveling, but that all started to change once I got Stevie. From the moment I picked Stevie up, her and I have been so incredibly bonded. Whew. Just every day, all day we spend together. She's my new best friend. Sitting by the river with Sterling was such an important part of our relationship. I spread his ashes into a river. Bringing Stevie to the river was such a full circle moment where I got to think about the two of them and how special both of them are and how much I love them both in different ways, but equally. Now I get to share his legacy and my life with Stevie too. We're doing some hiking in Colorado. Some hiking, some carrying, because she is only four months old. Since I got Stevie, I feel that spark of life again to travel. I picked up and took my truck with her and Nara, and we had a little road trip, the three of us. We uh, lived in a camper in Colorado. We have traveled to Arizona, and Utah, and California, and Nevada and are doing all these adventures and feel that love for life again. Oh my God. <laughs> she has just been the best little medicine dog because she's healed us all.